Hey guys, uh, so in tonight's video we're going to take a look at adjusting the x-axis belt on the A1 Mini and I don't think there's an adjustment on it but I'm going to try my best to try and get it straight anyway if you take a look here at present it's a brand new machine you can see the belt is running way off and hitting against the edge of the inside of this extrusion and you'll notice it up here it's almost hopping off the side of the pulley now if I try and straighten the belt as it's moving to try and get it to force it back into the middle you can see it's over now on the right hand side at the top but as it moves up and down it wants to travel to the left and hop off the pulley again and I'm pretty sure that's due to the motor not being aligned correctly so it's powered off and we're just going to be mainly operating on this section here I'm just going to move around the camera now and we'll proceed so first you're going to want to take this end cover off now i'm just going to use the blade on this just if you are using something similar just be careful and you want to push it in between this cover and the outer and just prise it slightly like that and it'll loosen same for the top and again for the side and that's your cover removed in here you want to try and remove this little plastic clamp i'm not sure how this comes out probably just rises yeah okay so catch that wiggle it free and essentially what you want to do is get the cable out of here to give it enough room to allow the motor for the cable to slip back through I'm just going to disconnect the camera it just pulls out so slide this up gently and that should be enough for the moment you're going to need your two allen keys your two mil and your one and a half this screw comes out of here You can see that's about 12 millimeters long. There are two more screws holding this cover on here and here. So you're going to open them. And those are short lined at eight millimeters or so. These three screws use the two millimeter Allen key. Right, so on the back of the machine, you'll see there are two more screws here. These are should be able to catch this cover slide it forward again you want to allow I don't know if you can really see that hopefully zoom in a touch in the base down here you'll see there's a bunch of wires feeding through the back gray white and black they feed in under the motor and connect directly into the motor so you can't disconnect them so what we want to do is get enough slack on this let me drop this down and touch it might give you a little bit more what you want to do is push that through and slide the cover off to the front and 
Now, with that out of the way, you should be able to see the issue here. The belt is running off and it's clipping the edge of this here as it moves. And essentially what we need to do is get this pulley kicked back this way. I'm hoping putting some spacers in between the motor and this plate should be enough. I have a selection of small washers that I'm going to use and with a bit of luck it will be sufficient. I was tempted to print something to put between it but I don't think that would work. I think that motor is probably getting reasonably hot. So we're just going to open these two completely and these other two inner ones we want to just slacken them off enough that we can get the motor to move. look at that again from there if I tilt this motor and move this we should see the belt come right I need a little bit more slack See it's staying relatively straight so I'm looking at at least a washer that thickness which is probably about one and a half mil just get a calipers yes yeah, so that larger washer is 1.2 mil probably isn't enough but we'll try it I have another smaller washer two together is 1.6 I want to do is try and get that between the plate and the motor. Slacken these a bit more. Tighten the rest of this back for a second to see how it looks. So, 1.6 mil of a spacer between this bracket and the motor appears to be perfect to get this belt to be back where it should be and if I look up the top end far in the machine which you can't see from there it is running straight also hopefully you can see this end up the top it's no longer running up against the edge of the pulley it's almost in the center so I just need to do the exact same again for this lower screw and then reassemble everything so just bear with me. Let's just go slacking off these three screws again. Just give myself enough room to get these spacers in. Gonna use a smaller Allen key to make sure I don't push the washer in too far. Reinstall that bottom screw and then tighten everything back up, and then we're going to check for alignment one more time.
so we'll just make sure everything's tight without over tightening and now it's time to start reassembly as you can see that's running perfect now right reassembly time so the most important piece of this is going to be getting that cable back in without doing harm as you can see get rid of that PTP altogether that cable has to sit into this little groove here and you don't want to damage it because it's obviously not going to work so just be very careful get it to line up in the groove and then get this cover to sit back over the top Once it's back into place, and we can confirm that the cable is in its groove. Everything should push back into position, and you're going to want to start with your long screw here. Short screw in this bottom corner. top screw up here once those are all tight we want to get the cable back into position your grey clip, push it in either side of it, push it home and then we want to reconnect our camera and light. I'm just going to use the end of the Allen key just to push it down. Once that's all back in we can confirm there's nothing fouling the pulley inside. Everything looks to be good. We want to refit our end cap. Now on the back of the machine, we want to reinstall our plate. So once you have it all back together, actually have to clip on the back cover before tightening those three screws at the front in order for it to get it to sit in fully. So once you have it all back together, you want to confirm that it's operating correctly. So power it on. Make sure it goes through all its startup procedures. Just home it and see. And that's it it's not the most straightforward of jobs but not terrible either and you should end up with a belt that's going to last a long time and not get wore away on the edge of the channel 
Okay, let me know if you have any questions, drop them in the comments, thanks.